Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's iHogan22 here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to complete the main quest or the main easter egg on the Firebase sea map and Cold War Zombies. If you guys do want to see more Dark Ops challenges or you want to see another easter egg guide for example, I'll leave a link to the D-Machine easter egg guide up above. As always guys, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below and make sure I hit that notification bell just so you don't miss any upcoming content in the future and let's just get straight into the video. Right guys, so first thing is first, when you load in, you need to go to the counter uh, and talk to Ravenov. You'll see him here behind the glass, just hold square or X and speak to him real quick. And he'll give you the directions to get to the teleporter on the roof and get to the main firebase. After going through the teleporter, you'll get into the main firebase map or the main area of the main map and you'll need to turn on the power as you always do with these zombies maps. So there's one on the left, forward and right hand side of the main map. So the first one's on the left which is mission control. Just do that with the reactor, it's just a normal soul box. So that's the first one done and then here is the second one in the data centre. And then the third and final one in the military command. And there you go, that's the power on for the full map, that's all done and dusted. You can now start sort of start buying perks and things like that, etc, because the power to the full map is, uh, is now on. So, what I would say is you do need the wonder weapon uh, for this map or for this easter egg, so grab the blueprint there um, that's in the weapons lab. And then the first step to the wonder weapon or building the wonder weapon is to get the eye in the scorched defence area from this zombie that's sat next to the tank. And then after that cutscene is played, you need to then run back to the weapon lab and pop it in the retinet scanner. After that, that will open a drawer up right in front of the desk. You just need to get the locker key from that drawer. And then you also need to play a game with this computer. So just killing these zombies that you've got just so you've got time to have a look at this game because it's basically a wheel uh, and it's going to give you a three digit code. So as you can see there, if you look at it a little bit like a clock, like the face of a clock, I've got sort of nine o'clock. 3 o'clock and then sort of 3.34 o'clock so 9, 3 and 3.30 is what I was kind of uh, thinking for for my code. Do you need that code because you then need to go back down uh, to the main bit and come to this dartboard and do the code as you see there like I said I'm sort of looking at it like a bit like a clock face so I did 9, 3, half 3 and then you need to shoot the bullseye in the middle as well and then that will drop a little piece for the wonder weapon out of the middle of the dartboard as well. The next step is use the locker key and go into the barracks 1 and 2 and open up all the lockers. They will spawn mimics and you're basically looking to kill these mimics and get a gold drop from the mimics as well which will be another part of the wonder weapon. As you can see there nothing dropped from the first one so I just keep opening lockers until I hear the mimic spawn in. Kill the mimic as such and then you'll see there another part to the wonder weapon drops as well. Looks like Cool Clay was hiding his ray rifle prototype. And the very last part of the wonder weapon is to shoot off the arm of a Russian mangler. You'll see there, shoot off the arm and it drops it there for you as well. So in regards to that, the Russian manglers only start spawning around sort of 15 plus. So you do need to make sure you wait till then. And then just take that part, go to the weapons lab, pop it on the desk on the right hand side. And that will charge up to two rounds. If you guys don't want to get the wonder weapon by crafting it, you can get out of the box or just by completing trials and getting a legendary drop. Now... Back to the main quest line of the Easter egg, you need to find Peck, who sat behind the glass there, in the mission control room. You then need to go and speak to Ravanov. He'll then give you this keycard, which will allow you to open three different lockers. So grab the keycard. The first locker is just outside of spawn here in the equipment storage. Just have to run the zombie around and you'll see it there. Just a gold little base. You then get the second locker here in engineering section, left of the main map once you get into the main firebase. And that's the second one out of three. And then the third and final one is actually up past in the colonel's office and then right there on the left hand side. You'll get the third and final vial as well. 
After that, you need to go to the field hospital, as you can see me pointing at there, and then pop the three vials into this machine. This machine will mix them uh, to create a, a toxin. And once you get that, you'll have some dog spawn. Just kill them off, wait till it's done spinning around, and then hold square on it twice, and you'll be able to pick up the full machine. You then need to run on top of the open lot, right next to the OPC, and pop it on top of this vent here. That will then push all the toxins inside the ventilation system. And then Heck will then have a small cutscene where he's getting gassed. After that, you need to run to the data center and you need to get unlock the machine and grab the essence trap now this is a bit of a step which was had a bit of complications around it for a while but you need to find in the map four bits of equipment that are sitting on the floor next to each other as mine were there i had a couple of different things that scattered around here you then need to get the mimic to spawn in from one of the pieces of equipment get him down to really low health like one or two shots and then throw the trap on the ground and then hold sort of or tap double square or double x whatever you're playing on and it will trap the mimic inside if the mimic isn't on low enough health the mimic won't get trapped inside he'll jump back out so you just need to make sure that he is sort of one or two shots if you mess this step up and you kill the mimic by accident you need to restart and go a whole nother round before the new bits of equipment spawn in now after you've done that three different times you have to wait and do it on three different rounds by the way even if you are successful after that you'll get a floppy disk from the machine you need to then run that floppy disk up to the planning office and pop it in this machine here And after that, the doors of the OPC will actually open up. Now, if you just go inside this OPC, you'll see a teleporter spawn in. And after that, you need to run back down to Peck and speak with him another the time as well. Portal, and I want the truth. The truth. The truth is I told myself it's okay to betray my country. You need Ethereum? Right, and I after that cutscene plays, Peck will shut the shutters down in the shop. And after a couple of seconds, you'll get a code given to you, audio-wise. Just run over to the locker next to the shutters, hold square, and you'll get another part out of it. You then just need to run straight behind you uh, and go into the Scorch Defense area. And in this second building on the left, you'll have a shovel just here on the right-hand side. You need to pick that up as well for the next step. After getting that, you need to come over to the open lot and just dig right in this corner here. Now, this will spawn all these different containers around this area. This is really tricky, but you're looking for the container that doesn't have any black fragments or particles inside. So if you look here, I'm laying down, you can see little black particles spinning around. You don't want that. So here's one, which is just completely clean. It's completely white. It's the sort of gas inside of it. That's the one you're looking for. So you need to find that and pick it up and hold it. And then go under the round. And then the next place to dig up is this here for the second container. This is why you need the wonder weapon. You need to shoot it with the secondary shot which holds it and freezes it in place and then grab it. Real easy step, but you do need to have the wooden weapon to be able to do it. So hold square and it, it will zoom off to a location and then shoot it with the second shot and you'll get that second uh, canister as well. The third and final one is coming to the jungle defense. On the far left-hand side, you'll dig another container up here and it will start a bit of a sort of timed defense round. So all you need to do here is just stay inside this small area, shoot all the manglers, dogs, zombies that spawn in and you just need to survive here for sort of a set a bit of time. I think it's around a minute or so and once you've done that you can hold square on the container again and it will you'll have got the third and final container for that you then just need to go to all three ether reactors and place the containers in each of them they do have sort of like designated ones you can only put one in a certain one however I just waited till I've got all three of them and then put them up them all in at the end so I know that I've got all the malls And after you've done that, you need to come back up to the OPC again, and you'll get some more audio dialogue. And after that, you need to then come to the computer in the planning offices and play this little mini game to realign the satellite. So what you're looking for is you're looking to drag your blue little dot cursor over the top of one of the gold spots, and you're looking for when you hover over it and it's got a question mark on it. That's the one that you're looking for. So again, if you fail this, the computer will have to cool down for one to two rounds, so make sure that you're just getting it right. When you hover over them, they'll have sort of certain flags, like the Russian flag, the USA flag, but you're looking for one that has the question mark on it. As soon as you hover over it, press X, um, or press A, and align the dishes, and then you'll get this cutscene here. Connection established, systems nominal. Locking target. Initiating firing sequence. Firing in three, two, 
one. What the hell is that? Are you firing a goddamn space laser at my satellite dish? Run. Right guys, and here it is. So after you actually watch that cutscene through and you've been to the OPC and that cutscene is played with Samantha walking out of the Dark Aether, you automatically spawn straight into the boss fight to fight order in the courtyard of where you started off the map in the first place. So you just need to be careful here, especially if you're playing on solo. Again, I would advise using the Wonder Weapon at the Rake as much as you can. It does a lot of damage against him, even if it is sort of pack a punch once, twice or three times. You can see here, mine's only pack a punch twice and it's still doing quite a good bit of damage to him as well. So you just need to keep your wits about you in regards to this boss fight. There is zombies, there is mimics, there is mangles that spawn in. So you just need to make sure that you're sort of concentrating all that fire on order as much as you physically can. Like I said, I didn't really spend a lot of time here killing any sort of zombies or mimics or anything. I was really concentrating on just getting as many shots off as possible as I could on order himself. But as you can see here... I'm just running around, giving myself some time, some space. I pop an ether shroud there just so I can get some free time just to do some damage to him. Again, like I mentioned, not really concentrating on any zombies or mimics or anything like that around. And then I sort of just kept doing this route then to finish off the uh, to finish off the boss fight with. So just running up through the atrium into Peck's quarters and then jumping off back onto the balcony onto this little uh, windowsill here and then just shooting some more times at order. And as you can see, if zombies then sort of get to me, which they take a bit of time to get to me up there, that's why I do that route. And I just rinse and recycle, do it all over again. So run up through, jump back over, and then get some more shots off on him. As you can see, I had about sort of three, four mimics behind me, some zombies as well, but just not really concentrating on that. Just, I can see order here is on really low health, so I just need a few more hits just to get it done. And there it is. So after you defeat an order, then you'll get the final cutscene that will play after completing the Easter egg. Operation underway in the Ural Mountains. I have to stay in the field. This is the only way. I told you once, Omega is not who we are. I do this for the good of the motherland. For the good of us all. Try not to break anything else. Remember, there is nothing so broken that it cannot be fixed. Sam. Are you okay? I'm ready to come in, Luke. We have a lot to talk about. Fine. 
Finally. Could you have taken any longer to get here? You were smart to transmit your research. You demonstrated loyalty to an extent. To an extent? What more do you want? Just wait until we get back to Moscow. We'll see what the Colonel thinks about this. Really? Do you really want to know what I think? I think I want to see a demonstration of your commitment to Omega. Tell me, Doctor. Which is your better eye? And there you go, guys. That is the Firebase Z full Easter egg or full complete main quest line done and dusted. And again, it is a Dark Ops challenge as well, so you'll see that you unlock a calling card for doing so because, again, it is in the Dark Ops series, is completing the main Easter egg on both Firebase Z and D Machine, as it will be for the rest of the new DLC maps that come out as well later down the line. Nailed them right, in the ugly. right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you want to see more of this kind of content from myself on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below, and make sure I hit that notification bell just so you don't miss any upcoming videos in the future. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye bye.